G'day Isaac, I'm this furry uh, that you would see on some video that you uh, reacted to of Vice interviewing furries um, at Aurora and that. And yes, I'm the one that he's wearing a Knights jersey at a furry convention that Vice was in and all that kind of stuff. But first, I just wanted to give, first of all, I just wanted to give you a bit of an to who am I and all that kind of stuff. As a furry and that, my persona name, or the name of this YouTube channel, or my YouTube name I should say, my name is Bruce Dragonia. I'm a furry, um, as you can see here, right? Many of us furries have, you know, personas and all that kind of stuff and, well basically, as you can see here, if, if you're just wondering, I'm a lizard man, uh, of, to be honest. Uh, more specifically, I'm of a race of reptilian son from Skyrim called, that is, or any other school of game. Like species that I am technically is an Argonian. Now, I probably would get back to um, talking about this sort of stuff later on, you know. But first I wanted to talk about some of your video, some of your work. You know, some of them I do kind of, kind of agree with you, whether it's you are doing videos on vegans, whether you're doing videos on cyclists, and even um, those videos on feminists and all that kind of stuff. You know, I kind of, um, found you through some uh, support worker that I was uh, that I was with at the time. You know, with you, I remember some of your videos on um, cyclists, vegans, your reactions to TikTok and all that kind of stuff. I know that that there's some people before me that I'm making that sort of made videos, giving you some some messages, um, whether it's. Miss Karen, vegan teacher, you could just say, or that vegan teacher, to vegan gain, um, vegan booty. Some of the some of your things about cyclists and and vegans and all that kind of stuff, I kind of agree with you with, with that, um, and and especially with those environmental protesters that just are counterproductive to, to their cause and all that kind of stuff, and and all that kind of stuff. Normally there's, a, there's many of those um, YouTubers and content creators before me that are asking you, um, are taking you on and all that kind of stuff. Um, just asking you out, you know, some with death threats and all that kind of stuff. But with me, don't take this video as me calling you out or whatever. But take this video as a tool of education if you're interested of what being a furry actually is and all that kind of stuff and I just wanted to correct you on some of the claims that you sort of known about us now right this has nothing I'm not I'm not trying to have goals at you or whatever okay so don't do this now first of all I noticed that you've done two videos on furries one of which, your exact thoughts on fairies. And the other one, I with you reacting to TikTok. You know, some of those videos really do sort of brought to my attention and all that kind of stuff. Because what you claim to about us, of us uh, dressing up in costumes for, you know, for the purpose of sex or people identify ourselves with animals or even those that we tend to have sex with other animals and that down to the very notorious myth about us furries wanting litter boxes to go crapping those things that I just mentioned is a complete lie I'm talking about bestiality the all of us Wearing fursuits as a as a bit of fetish gear, and the kitty litter 
in the school toilet. They're all complete mess. And as you know, that the, the kitty leader thing, I had made a video about it, right? I had made a video addressing this factor that it's just a hoax, it is just a myth that has goals at us. And to be honest with you, like I said before, I'm still a furry, right? I don't crap in some box that is for pets to, cr to crap in. I don't do that. I use a toilet like everyone else. And same, with, and same as other furries around us. Actually, other furries around the world. Even Therians, which I, which I have a, a thing to, uh, to get to in a minute, right? Also, I noticed that you have reacted to some videos of people that identify as Therians. In case you don't know what Therians are, they're basically people that sort of act out in a way that sort of feel that they are, how can I say, they identify themselves as animals, right? And, but the thing about it is that with furries, right, normal furries don't identify ourselves as our persona species and that. Yeah, sure, we tend to say, well, you know, some of us are dogs, some of us are foxes, some of us are cats, you know, some of us are dragons, whatever. But the point being is that many of us, if not all of us, don't actually recognize ourselves as anything but a human being. I mean, look at it, right? This is just, this is just a glove that I'm just wearing, right? You can clearly see that I'm doing something called poodling, right? Um, show my, my arms and all that kind of stuff, right? Poodling. Now, clearly, I'm a human, right? And I'm take and I'm talking this out of key fate, right? As that yes, um, out of key fate, many of us furries dress up because we like it's our way of performing and all that kind of stuff as our character, as our personas. And if you don't know what personas are, basically a persona is kind of like a furry persona. Other words, your alter ego. And as a main persona, like I said, I'm an Agonian, right? And most of us tend to perform and all that kind of stuff as our characters now. Not many, I mean, there's like more people in the furry fandom that has, like, there is a small number of people in the furry fandom that has zero fursuits, that own zero fursuits, or animal costumes if you do, compared to those in the fairy fandom that, that actually has at least one fursuit. Because you've got to think about it. Fursuits are known to be more expensive things to buy, right? Not many of us has the means to get a fursuit and, and that. And if we do, then, then at least we have means, but not many of us, not all, not all members of the fandom actually does have a first. The thing about the furry fandom is it's, it's actually a, a nerd type community of people, uh, predominantly LGBTQ+, with some hints of, and also predominantly autistic. I must admit because I'm autistic myself and many others that have uh, pretty much on the we are just people that have a liking of uh, evolving, I mean, involving anthropomorphic animals and, and all types of things, right? We do not, by any means, right, commit any 
bestiality. And those of us that do, we shun them out completely. We distance ourselves from that person. We don't take any association. People in the fairy fandom does not take any association with zoophiles, pedophiles, and especially pedophiles. And those of us that do, we absolutely shun them completely out of the fandom. It even goes down to writing a beware on, on those type of people, which I've seen in the past. Okay? Even with Kira the Wolf, for example, he is he was a furry until we know that he committed zoophilia. We just distance ourselves from him. We don't want anything to do with him anymore. Okay? And yeah, like we do dress up in verses because we are, you know, it is, it is like a hobby to us, nothing more than that. It is very immature of those that think that, like, I'm not saying that we don't um, have sex in, in, in animal costumes, but there is a small minority that do, and they, and we call them, and they also identify themselves it is called mersuiting, not fursuiting, okay? Mersuiting is when people do that. It is like a kink. But to many of us, fursuiting isn't really much, we don't have this as a, we don't have this as a kink. We don't do this as a kink, but only just a, har a harmless nerd hobby. Not to mention that there's even furries that are even below the age consent or minors that that person or have a person or been out for city i've seen i've seen minors like that it's a fun thing to do okay it is a hobby and also is a thing of self-expression like i said um in that vice video and this is the other thing about that i wanted to put into this vice video of you know with me um wearing a nice jersey you know, for a convention and all that kind of thing. These are not just costumes. Oh, no, he's wearing a Knights jersey. That's the team I go for. Sad face. We take them as a bit of a, an extension of ourselves and all that kind of stuff. Be stuff. Because, you see, the, like I said, the time of that, that video was filmed, like, was filming onto TikTok. Well, basically, that very one day, the Newcastle Knights had, was having a game over in the other side of Sydney. I was in, I was in Homebush in, in Olympic Park. And uh, of course, the Knights were playing in the Panthers over in. And, uh, and the only reason why I, I wore that Knights jersey, like I can pretty much explain. It doesn't mean that I'm sorry for it, but I'm not regretful of it, and sorry that you did have a bit of a sad face, but hey, at least that you're, that you're roasting me on it, which is great. I, I feel senpai noticed me and all that kind of stuff. But I can explain that the reason why I'm wearing that I wore that Knights nice jersey in that video is because the Knights were playing that day, I was just there just showing support for my team. Even though the, the Knights weren't playing at Olympic Park, but, in, but I didn't want to, I had no means of going there to Penrith um, just for a game that, even though that we, we lost, by the way, um, that, that they are just sort of seen that. And, and I watched it like over at the hotel, um, the Ferry Con. This itself is called Aurora, and it was filmed in Olympic Park. And if you do imagine, right, like, I don't, I literally paid to go to Aurora and that, like, I'm not going to miss out too many things there just to go to a losing game anyway, even though that my favourite team is the Knights. So, sorry about that sad face and that. Yes, there, there's some things that, that, there's a lot of cringe that, uh, that does tend to 
get that to the person really um i'm really sorry um say that you want xi jinping or vladimir putin to bomb here instead of um you know instead of just living in that but i know it's, i know it's just like with you um with you being funny or not or i'm not quite sure if you're serious but there's some certain times where if with some of the things that I sort of look at, like on TikTok and all that kind of stuff, or on some other thing, especially with some of the videos with um, that from Nicaro Avocado, for instance. Um, yeah, some of them are pretty much grossed out about it, you know, and some of the other well, content creators and all that kind of stuff. But you know, I'm, I'm getting beside the point now. So, anyway, um, so I'm not making this video as a bit of retaliation or, or calling you out or whatever um i just wanted to have this sort of education giving you this education and that um and you know i'm a furry youtuber by the way uh please subscribe to this channel um as it will, would help me out a bit you know so and if you want anything to and if you are keen on on inviting me to one of your podcasts or whatever um if, if you're thinking about doing further videos about furries or probably have a bit of an extent, extended podcast well i'm local to your area i'm from newcastle myself you see and uh i'm pretty much more keen to to hopefully one day just just educate you and your audience what being a furry is um you know it's not it's not doing me it's not only doing me a favor but i feel it's would be doing you a favor and also the other people a favor as well you know not not to uh not to get more followers now but just only to I just make these videos, you see, to educate people about the furry fandom, like many of us YouTubers do here, you know, I'm not the only one. So if you wanted to, you know, if you're keen on having me on your podcast, I'm local to your area, I'll uh, talk to you about it in a video there. If so... That's an idea of us to, you know, as a bit of collaboration, you know, help each other out. <laughs> well, anyway, I just, uh, I know that I'm just uh, blabbering on. So to the rest of you, um, that is just watching this, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like to the end. Also to my new subscribers, thank you, thank you heaps, as that there's um, a small bit of, you are doing a one small favor, but it does a hell of a lot to me if you do subscribe and, and also press that like button if you do like this content and all that kind of stuff. If you are a fan of Isaac Butterfield or something like that, um, you can just, uh, you can just, tag him you know on instagram dm him or whatever i probably will tag him on on x or twitter um just um in hopes that he'll probably watch it maybe that it's not much that i end up that i talk about the furry fandom and that even though it's just brief and all that kind of stuff um but I encourage you to share with your friends and all that kind of stuff, especially those that are non-furries, especially. <laughs> um, if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to this channel, like I said. If you're the first one to know, press that, link, press that bell icon. And yeah, it is the very first video that, I, that, I, that, that is now out in the new year of 2024. But... This is just a bit of a response that I just sort of had. So if you do enjoy it, thank you. Thank you for watching it in the end. It's all amazing.
Isaac Butterfield, you're amazing. Um, I would love to cl collab with you someday. Um, the usual, to the rest of you again, the usual social media is on, is on the description down below. Um, including ways to give me money, social medias and all that jazz. And uh, as always, this is the most must see up. I'm going in on YouTube, plus online investor with Black Marsh, K Fabe, Bruzo Dragonius, um, wrapping up by saying thank you so much for watching. You're all amazing. And as always, may this God, may this God you all, bye for now.